We just had a look at interfaces and now it's time to have a look at functional interfaces. These are interfaces with only one abstract method. And we can annotate them with the annotation at functional interface and later we'll see how we can actually implement these with lambdas. But, but let's not get ahead of ourselves now and first have a look at functional interfaces. As I already said, functional interfaces are interfaces with exactly one abstract method. So you have seen one already. Because the predator interface we just made in a previous video is a functional interface. It has two methods with a body, but only one without the body. And this makes it a special interface because I can now annotate this with the annotation add functional interface. If I were to add some abstract method over here, like this, it gets a problem. It says multiple non-overriding abstract methods. And this is interesting. What? Multiple non-overriding abstract methods? What does that even mean? Well, this is actually something that's kind of a, <laughs> a joke, I would say. No, it's a, it's a fun fact. But this looks like two abstract methods, right? But so does it when you have a look at the ones that are coming from objects. Remember the object class in Java? All classes are inheriting from object indirectly. So if you go and have a look at objects over here, we see that it has a bunch of methods in there. Um, so for example, the int hash code and more famous, the boolean equals or even more famous, let's see, the to string. So if our functional interface would contain any of these methods, it would look like two abstract methods, but actually it wouldn't be two abstract methods. So let's have a look at the string to string here, which is the same signature as the one in object because public is implicit. Well, then looking at this, the functional interface, it's fine again. I am, what's the bit problem here though? Oh yeah, let's go back to bird and no, to main and fix this. There we go. Can't stand red lines or red comments in my code. Um, but no, let's uh, let's see what's going on here. Well, what is going on is that this two string methods, it's actually any class is extending from object. So it has an implementation for two string. And therefore, this bird, even though it's implementing predator, it would only have to implement this method, catch and eat, because it's getting to string some sort of default implementation from the object class already. So only one abstract method and the ones from object don't count. Long story short. Also, keep in mind that if one interface is extending the other, it's also inheriting the abstract methods from the, the other. So our predator now is inheriting these two abstract methods as well. And that's a problem because it's no longer abstract since it has three abstract methods right now instead of one. So let's remove this because it doesn't make sense anyways. And there we go. So this is functional interface. It is only one abstract method. It doesn't need these. It's still in functional interface without these. In the next video, I'm going to show you what kind of extra cool thing you can do with functional interfaces. And it's definitely going to be fun.